The 9th of September 2011 and I'm just at, uh, at Wellington, um, at the Rotunda, it's yeah, 6 o'clock and we have just got the 901 Truth um, photo exhibition so we're just going to have a quick wander in. Um, so first of all, this is the fisherman's table, this is where it's located, just down under, under the fisherman's table. Sign. You see the evidence of facts. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Here we have the video, video um, hall. We were showing the. Experts speak out video and yeah. It's the first room. And like it disappears in, it doesn't explode as it hits, it goes in and then the, the fireball comes out. comes out in a delay and yeah, um, I'm guessing that there was really pain and that will turn. Aviation kerosene. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, sorry to interrupt you. I'll just cool. take a few moments of call time. My name is Tom Wellington, for those who don't know me, I'm part of the New Zealand Society of Truth. And I'd just like to say a few words. Firstly, thank you all very, very much for coming here tonight. It's nearly 10 years on. So tonight we remember the victims of 9-11, their family members and the dead innocents caught up in the ensuing wars of terror as a result of 9-11. We also acknowledge the thousands of courageous first responders who risked their lives, their limbs and their lungs on that momentous day and who are now sadly sick and dying due to the toxic air they breathed on 9-11. We remember what we saw on our television screens. We remember the horror, the planes crashing into the buildings, the panic, the fear and confusion. So tonight we ask you to take another look at the events of 9-11, to see the world's tallest buildings collapsing in free fall and dust. To see World Trade Center 7, a 47-story skyscraper, collapsing into its own footprint in freefall on the afternoon of 9-11, despite not having been hit by a plane. Footage the New Zealand public did not see on their TV screens that day, and footage 75% of New Yorkers have not seen to this day. It's not easy to relook at these events. But we feel as responsible citizens, it is important to not only commemorate those who were sadly murdered on 9-11, but to come together in reason and to seek answers to the well-researched questions prepared by the 9-11 family members that remain largely ignored to this day. The mass murder of 9-11 has never been properly investigated. Instead, the citizens of the world have had to settle for an incomplete and flawed 
9-11 Commission report. The now existing forensic evidence relative to dust and metallic sphere chemical analysis casts real doubt on the official building collapse reports. Tonight we also invite you to view the premiere documentary from architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, Explosive Evidence, Experts Speak Out, where dozens of experts at the top of their fields in architecture, building, engineering, chemistry, physics, and other relevant technical fields share the scientific evidence that also undermines the official building collapse reports. Now this documentary is two hours long. It has just come fresh from the editing suite in uh, America. It is a fantastic documentary. Um, it's something that you can sit through from start to finish if you'd like, or you can come back and see it in stages. So we'll put it on in, in a couple of moments and feel free to watch it in its entirety tonight. Or you can come back tomorrow. Uh, we're open from 10 till 5 Saturday and 10 till 4 Sunday. And we'll be showing it from 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So please feel free to come back. We also have free uh, DVDs of Richard Gage's Blueprint for Truth in the adjacent room. Um, complimentary copies you can take your friends and family, and leaflets as well, so don't hesitate to do that. And just finally, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank the members of New Zealand for 9 Truth, who have donated so generously of their time and their money to this exhibition. And a special thank you to uh, Mike Woods. Thank you, Mike, who's managed this project. And to his son, Peter Woods, who produced the amazing images you see on the board here tonight. So, yes, we'll, we'll put the documentary on in about five minutes' time in the adjacent room. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come and ask one of us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Colin. Thanks, Colin. Mm -hmm.